Bless Messers family, I'm back again with another topic guys, this is a gang of history, do you know what I mean, fact or facts about the new year. So let me let me let me hatch up some truth guys about about the new year and things like that. A lot of people today excited, do you know, they, they're gonna go out and celebrate New Year as you know uh, the New Year's Day is approaching. Right now is about four hours, four hours uh, to go. And now people are going to go out, you know, fireworks and celebrating and things. A lot of people just go out today for a leg over. But do you know why they celebrate New Year? Do you know what, what what's a New Year? All right. So let me tell you that. A lot of people celebrate now New Year, uh, which is in the Gregorian calendar. The Gregorian calendar, if you don't know it, guys, the Gregorian calendar was named after Pope Gregory the Thirteenth. Yeah? Pope Gregory the Thirteenth. he's the one that change or replace the calendar the old uh the old new year calendar so replace the old calendar with his calendar because uh he he said oh that the old calendar is wrong and is not right and that's why they, he needs to change it so pope gregory the 13th which is uh, started that uh, this gregorian calendar started around the 1500 which is 15 1584 uh just after uh, pope gregory the 13th died after he died and then and then it replaced it from there and then it started I uh, started every on the first of January. If you don't know January, January itself named after J, uh, named after Janus, you know, which is a Roman god that uh, that one when he died and then they named the the, the the months of January after him, Janus. Right. So you understand that uh, Pope Gregory the Thirteenth changed the old calendar, which is the Juli uh Julian calendar. The Julian calendar, yeah, was named after Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar was a Roman emperor. Uh, you know, they're saying that, uh, yeah, so after he died, and then they honoured him, they named it after him. But the people, Pope Gregory the Thirteenth said, oh, that old calendar uh, is, is not right, and then he changed it. And this calendar, he, he took out 10 days. So this, this calendar is missing out 10 days. But imagine that, guys, you know, when the calendar is missing 10 days, yeah, there's a lot of people by the new year that which it was changed, a lot of people have missed their date of birth. A lot of people, you know, businesses, uh, you know, a lot of things like they just ch they change it, missing 10 days, right? So uh, now, as you see that this new year, every time the new year is in January the 1st, and which is in winter which is in winter right winter has always been like that because in uh, in europe and things like that which is not that but but the old calendar if you know that guys the old calendar was always on the summer uh if you're going by the old calendar right now it's going to be this day is going to be uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you'll probably celebrate celebrate the the old uh the old calendar in october or september mm -hmm. or before that that's when, when you celebrate the new year uh, which is nice the weather is you know kind of like uh a bit mild summer and nice and, and 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 all of that but many people that know so you guys uh basically just go celebrate and i know probably want to get that's what i said earlier but listen so let me break let me break that down for you before the julian calendar as well there was uh there was another calendar which she called the lunar calendar the lunar calendar was a roman calendar that calendar was also uh you know based on uh, on the moon so they follow the moon and it, uh, you know, and the month, and a month, uh, monthly basis. Every time in a month, then people uh, would count the day, uh, the days, and that's how it works. The lunar calendar during the Roman time, but also replaced has been replaced by, by the Julian after that, you know, and and then now we are in the Gregorian calendar. Gregorian calendar is uh, still today. It's been going on. So, do you, did you know that before, guys? If you know that, well done, guys. You know you're doing your homework. Don't be a man them just you're in the streets. You don't know anything. You have to know. You have to know. This is very important. If you don't know it, that's why you run out of business. That's why you, you ain't got nothing to say, brother, in your mind. So now, the Gregorian calendar celebrated uh, on first, uh, on the first, yeah, first of January, which is Janus, the god Janus, right? So, I gotta give you this information, my brother, because if I didn't give you this information, where where else will you get it? So, go back and check, uh, look at the facts. So, if you look at other calendars like the Chinese calendar or uh, 
other other nations outside of Europe they they go they go off of another calendar which it falls all the time they're celebrating the new year probably on the summer uh, summer is is the best day for them that celebrate that and things like that but now when things when things always been celebrated in winter first of January I think I think it's why why they've done that I think it's suitable weather uh, the weather is nice for for some other people and and a lot of people that which is and summer is not nice for them but I think I think everything uh, everything is based on the facts and and that so uh Pope Gregory the 13th changed changed it but also I think uh who reformed it also they said uh they said there's another there's another a reformist that was reformed it reformed it after Pope Gregory the 13th died but uh, Lilius, if you don't know Lilius, you need to go and search him up. Lilius, who was born in Italy, modern day Italy, and died in Rome. Yeah, so that's what replaced it. Uh, they replaced the. And now we have the Gregorian calendar. Yes, we got it. So, do you think the Gregorian calendar is working for you guys? Do you think it's the best one? Because all you man them, you just go outside, celebrate now, fireworks, uh, whatever, you know what I mean? You look for the Geldum and whatever. All right. I mean, I'm not saying that if if you're going out to hook up with girls, I think that's a good thing as well. At least know your facts. Yeah, know your fact. If you know the facts, yeah, you're you're calm. You know, you will sort it. So nobody else is gonna be like, oh, right. You know, I don't know anything like that. The reason why uh, I'm giving you these facts, guys, because uh, most of us probably won't even realize that what we were on. Probably you. Probably, yeah, probably you'll be in somewhere that, and you won't even know what what is that for and what's that sign for. So I'm giving you this kind of facts so you understand that. All right, the whole years, the whole new year, there's many, many. You know, every time as time approaching, I'm ch time changing. People change New Years, and I think also it's about nations as well. And and uh, there's many, many facts about the about the about New Years, about the Gregorian calendar and uh, Julian calendar and the lunar calendar but the things I have that's this is only a bit of it you can go and make your research uh, on that right because also some people argue that said because of the uh, you know the, you know uh, based on the you know uh, orthodox uh, orthodox Christians and other things like that but I think I don't want to go into that but you already know guys you need to study and know at least this is simple stuff that you need to understand. Have you studied that at school? I bet you haven't. I think you don't know even know about why what what's the year called? They call it the Gregorian calendar. That's what I'm saying right now, guys. Gregorian calendar, Julian calendar, and the lunar calendar. Now we are in the Gregorian calendar, which is named after Pope Gregory the Thirteenth. I hope you get that facts, guys. Bless, bless his family. Stay blessed, family. Bye.